raised in Tauranga until I was 14 and I moved to Auckland with my family. Very avid sports lover, very passionate about sports. And once I left school, I got stuck in the construction and building, and I've been in there for about the last eight, nine years. Um, working on something that is bigger than myself, making something that that gets people's head bopping. But I love, I love the the fact that you can write whatever you, you want to write. It's an empty, it's an empty canvas. Um, I love citing experiences of your own into um, certain analogies and as you telling the truth of that happen. Um, but it feels good when you when you write something that's your own and you can make your own. I usually start without any agenda on the song, so I don't go on looking for the theme or, or looking to write about one particular topic. Go on with the first two to four bars or so, and um, try and make those first first couple of bars slap, get the audience's attention, build on, maybe build on the theme for, for separate verses or one underlying theme. And then the hook, the hook usually comes um, naturally after I've done the first verse. Creative juices will be flowing, um, I can hear a melody in my head or I've been trying out with us and then something usually just comes out once once you've got, got to writing. Once everything's been recorded, I get a bit anal about listening to the song over and over again and nitpicking at things I do or don't like, wanting to change certain words in here or there or change the pronunciation on a few syllables. But I listen to any ad additional backing vocals or anything that needs to be done or it's all the everything's been recorded sit down and have a listen to what sounds cool, what sort of effects you can put on, a bit of reverb here or there. You can you can sort of keep going and chopping and changing, but I think once the first thing that, that you like, stick to it, don't go changing it. Don't, don't fix it if it ain't broke. Um, definitely at the top there, you gotta have Tom Scott. I think he gave NZ Hip Hop its identity. Uh, nothing that sounds Americanized or that he gave it its own, its own lane and everyone, everyone loves all of Tom Scott's music. I'm um, also going to say Mac Miller, big influence, legend of the wordplay, of wordplay I think, he's, he's underrated as a as a lyricist, I think he's definitely a legend of the game, RIP. Also probably Denzel Curry in recent years, Denzel Curry is a, a rapper that I've, I've listened to a, a lot to nearly every single one of the songs that like over and over again. And I think he brings uh, an independence, an independence to the game. He does what he wants. He keeps his own creative control. You can hear it in the songs. He he, he switches it up. He's got his album track bangers, and then he can slow it right down as well. And really focus on his verses and a lot of enthusiasm and energy. And you can hear it in his, in, in his tracks. Also, Jay Dilla. I think Jay Dilla, R.I.P. Also, uh, but a pioneer and a lot of his music lives on and be timeless. I think. With uh, Eno and Dirty, aka Eden and Manu, um, Auckland boys, Greyland boys, we could do something pretty cool. Probably Travis Scott, just just love the production that's done on his, on his records and the way he uses the auto tune effect and, and all the, the reverb that bounces around in the songs. Like, and also, probably Anderson Pack. Anderson Pack would really make my day if you could, could work with a uh, musician like him. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Storming on Barry, man, I'm packing a punch. Call me in a minute, cause I'm munching on brunch. I'll be back at the crib sometime around lunch. Cook it up and bake it, it's time for the crunch. Chalk it on the drawing board, I'm all for the score. Looking for the nugget on the cross Auckland tour Thought about it bruh, and it's the way that you are That's ready to get in under my skin, it's pissing me off I'm a half an inch chiller, cream bun filler Curly head figure, the bobs to Jay Dillon Might give advice, it's up to you to comply Half of the time my head's up in the sky I told you no moldy dupe will ever get a hold of you Unless you pitch a tent inside the motherfucker's living room A few more words, concerning the birds Getting sing the thing